Hey everybody, okay, so we're gonna talk about the nursery planning process. This is all part of Operation Get Ready for Baby. So, if you hear anything in the background, my husband and Sophia are in here playing. Alright, so I'll refresh by my tw week 21 update. I said I revealed our theme, which is going to be vintage travel. That's the theme, okay? And so if you're wondering, like, what the heck is vintage travel? Basically, what I wanted for that was I didn't want it to look... <laughs> I don't know how to describe... How, how do I describe what I didn't like, Kyle? What I don't want. Yeah, I guess just like I didn't want the little the baby looking trains, planes, cars. Actually, I think a lot of that stuff's really adorable, but that's not the idea I had in my head. Um, <clears throat> I wanted it to just look kind of just this this that that vintage feel. Um, so how I guess the best way to describe it would be just to show you guys. So let's get right into it. Um, First, let me show you guys my idea boards, and this is the stuff, or I guess I should call them my inspiration boards, and this is the stuff to, um, it's kind of inspiring me to, in the theme. So the first one is, this is, um, mainly decor, and what you'll see around here is, um, you're gonna see some artwork, and some cool, uh, blankets, some cool lamps, and then kind of some paint shades and some paint styles, uh, as well as some, um, accents like, you know, old style vintage looking toy planes and things like that. So to get into more detail, let me show you guys the artwork. So this piece of art that you're seeing right now, um, there's going to be, what we're going to do is we're going to have two frame pieces of actual vintage travel art um, that are going to hang above the crib. So the first one is this little um, Braniff Airways and it's just, we thought this was a really cool old looking poster. Um, we loved the plane. We think the plane the baby will like, you know, as he gets older. And I loved the colors in it, the kind of muted, um, old time looking aspect to it. And then the, the poster that's going to be framed and hung next to it is this Space Needle poster. And this poster is kind of a different feel than the um, Airways poster. But it's still a vintage look. It's that vintage futuristic look. And we thought this one was neat because instead of it just being like a train, it's, you know, um, a monorail. So it's something more unique to travel but still neat. And uh, we liked this one um, kind of for... I liked this one in a different way than I liked the other poster. I liked that this one was a little bit more vibrant. So we get a little bit more color in there. But it still had that... Um, old feel. And I'd like to point out that both of these posters are actual old travel posters that were used. <laughs> so, which was really cool. And then, what we're going to do is to accompany these um, real travel posters, we picked out two pieces of whimsical art that still are related to travel, but in a more, you know, um, fantasy type way to kind of draw in the fact that this is a baby, a child's room. You know, we don't want to forget that. So, we ordered two pieces and one of those pieces will be, they're both going to be framed, and one of the pieces will be hung above the dresser, and the other piece will just be in another place in the room. We'll decide that when we get them. And the first one is, this is called The First Dreamer. Um, the artist is unknown, and it was, uh, it's from, I think, the early 1800s we found. And it's basically, this one I thought, I just love this one. I love the feel of it. Um, basically what happened here is the artist took, um, hot air balloon, which was a way that was popular to travel then, and people thought it was going to be the wave of the future, and it kind of was for a while. And so the guy, whoever drew this, <laughs> he added, you know, made it look like more like a plane. Or she. Or she. Made it look lo more like a plane. Um, did passenger ones, was really creative and having fun with it, so we thought that this was a really fun feeling poster, and, and I loved the colors in it. Um, the colors are actually brighter in person. And then this next one, um, I absolutely fell in love with. And Kyle, when he saw it, was like, oh my gosh, I love it. So we both adore this one. It's way more whimsical, but it's just so fun. And it still fits the theme. And because it just looks kind of like an old-fashioned storybook um, photo. And it is this poster. And it will also be framed. And as you can see, isn't that fun? And it kind of ties in the fact that this is a baby's room. 
Um, <laughs> we just love the fact that the little birds with the balloon are greeting the elephant coming in. The poster is actually called The Arrival, which I thought was so cute. And so, yeah. And like I mentioned, both of these, um, all four of these posters are going to be matted and framed. And the reason we're doing that is because I want, um, even when the art's whimsical or more childlike, I still want to mix it in with a more, <laughs> a more elegant classic feel. So I think it's really fun when people um, do things like that, when they kind of mix two different feels. You know, when they take something that could be a piece of crown art, but then they frame it and make it look nicer. I love that type of look. I love the feel it has. So that's what we're doing in here. And then how we're trying to do the walls is that we are going to install a chair rail and I would like to do a really dark shade of blue on top and uh, then white on the bottom. And here's a picture um, that I found of someone who'd done something similar. And uh, our furniture is going to all be really dark. So in this photo, you can see how the white and blue walls actually look really nice with the dark furniture. We're just, you know, we haven't ordered the rest of the accents yet. But um, as you can see, I found a lot of cute things. So here, um, I could, and I'm not sure which direction I'm going to go, but here are two lamps I found that are more of a kid feel. But what I liked about them both is the, the one of them has the more childlike, babyish, plain embroidered on the lampshade. But what makes it look a little classy, or is, um, it makes it look like a more classic lamp, is that the, the base of it has a more classic feel. And then the other one... The, um, the lamp itself is, is, you know, just a basic lamp, but the plane on it's just really fun, but it still looks kind of vintage and neat. And then in the opposite direction, I found these two other lamps, and I both really liked them because um, just because we're doing vintage travel doesn't mean we necessarily want everything to have a plane or a train or something on it. We also want things to just look kind of like worldly. And so both of these lamps I thought were really fun and kind of fit like a traveling, I've been around theme. And then the next thing I'm going to show you is my inspiration board for the textiles of the room. So here it is. And you can see I found this gorgeous hallway photo. Um, obviously I want to do the opposite with the blue on top and the white on bottom, but it's still like that feel, that really elegant, nice, um, clean feel. I love that. And I'm kind of aiming for that in the nursery. Uh, and then... And you can just see the, the shades, I, the um, curtains I found, you know, the one striped one looks a little bit more straightforward, but still really fun. And then the other one looks a little bit more world travel-ish, kind of like, you know, you got it from Morocco or something. And then I found this cool rug that they call it the aerial rug, and it's from Land of Nod. And I thought it was really neat because it's just like an aerial view of if you're flying overhead. And then you can see some of the bedding I found that I liked. Um, it's kind of nice with this theme because it's not like I'm doing something that's very specific like green and black, so I need to find everything needs to be the same shade of green. <laughs> Hi, Sophie. So um, the way I'm doing it, we can kind of have different shades. We can have greens and blues and tans and browns, and they all work together. So one of the bedding I really like. Yeah, I know. Uh, I really like the classic feel of it, um, but I think that the accents of the swirls on it um, is still kind of world travel, like it's from somewhere. And then this other one, it's the same type of thing. It kind of has like almost the, this this um, feel of like another country, kind of, you know.